the project that we are going to build is complete backend e-commerce web API and I request you if you haven't watched our section 1 of this project then the previous video link is in the description and you can also find a full playlist link of our this project so this is the first part of our section 2 so in this section we will complete our products and categories model and routes if you check my description i also mention the github repository link so you can simply copy the code of this part inside your machine so now without wasting any time let us move to our project so now the time is come to add categories via post request so i want to create a new post request similar like our get and this is also a synchronous function and our callback is request and response so here i want to create a new variable named category and i want to create the instance of our category model so i write this here and remember inside our category model there are three fields name icon and color so i write here this name will come from our body icon and color after this i want to use this await method and category dot save so it can add it inside our database and if our category is empty then we have to return an warning so for that we have to use this status code 500 i want to use 404 then send the message the category cannot be created and if our category is successfully created then i want to send this variable here so now save the file before that i want to go inside my database and create a new collection for our categories database name is eShop database and here categories so now let us create so now you can see our categories are empty so let me open my postman and i want to go inside this post request and go inside our categories you can see here this is our category route go inside app.js here you can see categories so now i want to post something so go inside this body and this is our json format so instead of this i want to write here name icon and color then send the request so here you can see we are getting this successfully so now refresh our database so here you will get our name icon and color with this individual id now let us create a delete request so inside this categories.js router and this is our delete so you can see here our each item has individual id so we can delete a particular item that we selected so for that here to delete our any item we have to pass id that is individual id like this and here our request and response so to delete any id first we have to go inside our model and 
find by id and remove so this is the function to remove and here first we have to get request.params.id so we can actually find the id and after this i want to create a promise so i write then and here if our category is found that we have to delete then we have to return this with the successful code that is 200 and i want to send a message like this success message that is true the category deleted and after this i want to write an else statement return response dot status and this is 404 because our success is false now so here i write success is false because our category is not found category not found then i write this catch method so if any error happening by delete our item our this callback will get this return method and inside this i want to send the status 400 then inside this json success is false then i want to display the error message like this and here write this save our file go to our postman and i want to delete this particular id so now copy this go inside our delete request and after this we have to paste our id that we have to delete click on the send button so here you can see success true our category is deleted now let us get our categories details by this individual id so if we want to get a particular category of our products then we can actually get this with our individual id so let us go inside our visual studio code but before that here i want to send this status with this 200 and after this let us create our get method similar like this but here this is our our categories details individual category so i write here router dot get id and this is asynchronous here let us create a new variable name category And I want to use this await before getting some items. We have to wait some time. And let us create instance of our category model. And we have to find a particular item which is category. So I write here find by ID. And request.params.id because this is our parameter, not body. And if category is not found, then response.status 500. And I want to print a message in the category with the given ID not found. And if we found successfully, then we have to write response.status code 200. 
and send here category now save our file go inside our postman here i want to get something and this is our id details so now click on this send button here is an error because we deleted our category this is empty so first let us post something i want to post this first And let us post another item like mouse icon of our category is also mouse then send this so here you can see with this id we are getting two details inside our categories refresh our database and here you can see we have computer and mouse so now let us copy this select our get request and i want to get the categories of mouse so i want to click on the send error is generated because here we have to write like this again send the request so here you can get actually details of our mouse category like this individual id of our mouse categories so now the time is come to update any category so for that we have to use our put request so router dot put and if i want to update any category first i want to get individual id of that category then inside our callback let us write here request and response then const category use this await method create instance of our category model and our function is find by id and update to update any item inside this first we have to get our parameter that is id then here we have name icon and color then if our category is not found then return a response with this 400 code and send a message the category cannot be created and if it is found successfully then let us send the response category now save our file go inside our postman so let us write here put request because i want to update this mouse category so now let us send the request so here we can actually instead of this mouse like let us write here mouse one two three and send the request so here our update request is sent but here you can't get immediately let us see here i want to send this get request and send the message here so here you can see mouse123 is created successfully so our item is updated successfully but you have to not see in our put request so for that after this i want to write here new true so you can instantly see in our put request so you don't have to go inside our get request again so let us write here put and instead of mouse 123 let us write here 12345 send the request so here you can see immediately mouse 12345 you don't get our previous data in this put request let's take a quick pause here i assume you did 
completely this part as same as me and if you found any error then the github repository link is in the description so you can simply copy the code inside your computer now this is the end of our part 1 of this section and if you want to continue with the part 2 then the video link of our next part and our full playlist link of our project is also in the description. So inside our next part we will post a new request inside our REST API. I hope you guys are excited for our next part and if you really like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you and bye bye